Hey guys, welcome back to more episodes of The Wire. We're on episode 9. Um, Avon Barksdale is pissing me off. <laughs> For one of a bad word. He still wants to play the game. His way. No other way. Won't listen to reason. Won't listen to anything other than he feels as though he has the right, the experience, the know-how. This is how it has to be. And he's not seeing that his possible business through Stringer can be, come something far more valuable, far more risk-free, but they are worlds apart. And you know... There are many different stories of you can't take this person out of this and put them in this. And you don't, I won't mention a lot of them because a lot of them are crude. But you can't take this guy off the street and put him in a suit is basically what I'm saying. And it's all, 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 all the bodies are starting to drop again because he's going after Marlowe. And vice versa. And we've got Omar seeing it as an open candy shop with what's going on. With what uh, the majors had to do. Uh, and the politics side, I I'm still trying to wrap my head around it. Right, let's go. Episode 9. Just before I do, if you are enjoying these reactions, I would appreciate a quick sub to the channel if you haven't already. And we'll continue on to see what the hell happens next. Because we ended that scene with the two of them coming to blows. This relationship's doomed. Let's go. You know, uh, not that this wasn't fun, but uh, it might be nice to have dinner first. Dinner and a movie. I got to Baltimore late. No, it's then, next time. Ah, now back to bed again. Can't have been that late then, can it? Bowling is working in the pipes, okay? I should have it all cleaned out by tomorrow, I think. All you're gonna need is the permits. Permits? Only problem is it being Sunday morning and all, you know? What? Who you call? It's them Charles, man. You told me we supposed to bring our beef from before the group, right? Here it is, you won with the young boy Marlo over the Speak to Avon. You try talking to Avon because that's half the problem right there. Yeah. yeah. Do you know something? I'm starting to get the feeling now he has this little consortium of dealers. <laughs> and he's... He's brought them all together and they're speaking the truth here. This is bad for business. This, if you're going to approach it from how the rest of business works around the world, you can't have one person freeloading and freewheeling, doing just whatever the hell they want, dropping bodies all over the place. Is he going to get pushed out here or even worse? Is a hit gonna go out on him? He benefiting from my connect and from the wholesale price we got by throwing in together. I mean, he know that. Come on, Joe. Yeah, it's me. You want a house where the dude is, you know. It ain't about talk, to nigga. The dude. Man, I'm trying not to use names. Gerard and Sabba got the sights for no more. Tried to be slim and he ain't answering. So? It's church day, spring, Sunday morning, you know? It shows up. You have oh, principles? Yeah. Oh hell. Can't throw him. That's how I definitely hit him. No, he didn't. Hey, what happens, happens. I mean, if they want to keep my little experiment going or they want to go back to business as usual, that's on them. But me, I'm out of here, D. I'm gone. Well, what happens when you turn your district over to the next man? <laughs> People get wind of this thing. Yeah. And there's no one to defend it. John O'Neill and Steve Clary over at Woodlawn. Oh, they bring it in, but there's not many. There's not many. We're good at this, Lester. In this town, we're as good as it gets. A shining Jimmy McNulty day moment when you bring in the case so sweet, everybody gets together and says, oh, shit. It won't make you whole. It won't fill your ass up. I don't know. A good case. Ends. They all end. On a Sunday morning. 
Y'all try to hit a nigga when he taking his wrinkle ass grandma's to pray? <laughs> and y'all don't hit the nigga neither? Do you know what a color lady is? Not your mom's for sure. Because if they was that, y'all would have known better than that bullshit. Y'all should have seen me inside our hospital while they stitching her up, lying about why somebody won't shoot me down the street. Hey, yo, Kimmy, this ain't funny, yo. That woman raised me. And for as long as I've been grown, once a month, I've been with her on a church Sunday. Y'all know I was gonna walk away, right? Y'all know that, right? I mean, after Tasha, I was gonna leave them people be, yo. Avon home now. Oh, Box still got to go. The faster we get a hold of the new numbers, the faster we're up on those phones. Now, when Caroline comes back off vacation, she's gonna be on the minicam. From here on out, we keep a log on any movement by Stringer, and we keep an eye for Mr. Boxdale as well. All Stringer, all the time. Yeah. Only in property zoned B2, B3, This is where all the red tape bullshit all comes in. sealed by a registered architect and engineer. Floor framing yeah. plan, including the load criteria. Hydron sprinkler system. No health right. department, since it's a physical culture and health You're service. Fault. A license Basically. from the State Athletic Commission up on Calvert Street. Yeah, you don't. I'm saying if we're going to be in a damn car all damn day, it's worth it, Bernard. It's the rental company that slipped you up. You ticklish bubs? <laughs> I mean, it shows planning, but lack of the full scale of things that if you know you're, you're being as careful as what you're being, how he has been with his girlfriend, going around and buying them from different stores, getting receipts, just doing one here, one there, all over the place, less traceability. There's not a lot of point if you're going to do it all in the same hired vehicle it might as well just be a stolen car so it shows it shows forethought but you're not looking at the bigger picture your company is in business selling disposable cell phones to people who don't have to give any subscriber information at the time of purchase they can't be monitored by law enforcement because your company can't react within a month to a court order for a wiretap you're selling a phone that you know is effective for drug trafficking no, it's done on purpose. It's not just a corporate backlog or de departmental issue with, with regards to communication. It's, <laughs> it's there on purpose because no one is going to go out there and buy a burner phone if they know that the company that they're buying from and supplying them and making them is going to be able to just hand any of details of what you use that phone for to the police within 24 hours. <laughs> Even if by some miracle we are able to get up on a drug dealer's disposable cell phone in time to catch him talking, you're going to take as much as a month to activate our tap. Yeah. But the state's attorney for Baltimore City calls a press conference on the courthouse steps to declare that Bay Wireless is in league with the most violent drug traffickers in the city, preventing their apprehension and arrest by law enforcement. That's slander. You can't say that. This is our new man, huh? Frank Reed. Dennis Wise. Rip. You use anybody's name? No. Hell, man, it was a time I'd use Smith & Wesson. <laughs> nah, look, man, I'm just saying, how y'all regular folk get it done in this town? by greasing the right hand. Not lit up like a candy bar. What's up, Papa? What you hawking? Body bags. All right, let me get 30, 30 pills. 30? Yeah. Shouldn't be long. A bulk purchase just to buy a discount, right? Papa just made another 25. Yeah, he has. Teresa D'Agostino, please. <laughs> he went out I-70 this time. Can you blame him? The scenery's better. 24, huh? So y'all get with Charles. He gonna give y'all the details on it. Yeah, we gonna be back where we were, String. Yeah, that's Mellow. the problem. We just gotta get this boy Marlo, and then we spread out like we do. I mean, Prop Joe said he'd mediate. You know what I mean? Go to Marlo and talk on it. Yeah, well, if he take a gun with him, maybe it could work. Let me ask you something, though. Did you tell them discount ass niggas that they could pop off at Omar Grandma? On a Sunday morning? Yo, I don't give a fuck, man. I hear that cop took his name, man. I ain't thinking about a church day. I mean, it's just like people was talking on us and all, and the stories is getting bigger and bigger. Like, I swear to God, Fat Face Rick heard that our people went and shot Omar Granny in the ass on purpose and all that. And it... Yeah. Yo, we, uh, we still off them corners? Yeah, gotta be. 
We're gonna be off them corners till we take care of Marlo. Now, man, take the profit where we can. You trust that shit? I mean, so far. Cannot get a working wire up in time. Yeah. By the time we get subscriber information and paper, sir. They're dumping phones. Cellular carriers tell them they need nearly a week to process the paperwork. You've Hang on a minute. If any, doesn't matter the name, the company name or anything, but if you are a legitimate mobile communications company and you are supplying and making phones, including burner phones, if you want, if the the law, if the authorities want to be able to get something on you quicker like this with a wire. It's not down to applying pressure in the right place. There needs to be a change in the law. Demanding that as a supplier of these, this is the terms in which you accept your business model. Not this. Now what? Oh dear. He's 10 7, call it in. Rock. Oh, fuck. Jesus Christ. You killed Derek. It's Wagner. You fucking killed Wagner. Oh, fuck. With his gun out. And shots fired. Look, no one wants to burn anything. You don't know the details. There's a racial I fucking hell yeah. Consider. The appearance of Has it. Has he seen a lawyer? He's in a situation where you can't compel a statement out of him until you read him his rights. And we haven't done that yet. So I'm his commanding officer. You should call the union, Roland. Talk to a lawyer before you say anything further. You need to be careful because of the racial thing. You see that, right? Oh, God, I didn't even thought that. people in the department who see this that way. I didn't give a shit he was black. No. Or whatever. Or maybe I did. Don't be saying that. How the fuck do you know if that's in your head or if it's No, not. no, no, shut the fuck up. Don't be saying that. But you saw the gun. Yeah. 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 Because you shouted, right? You shouted police and he turned, right? This is the problem. I don't think so. I don't, no. I don't think I said anything. No, neither you did. I don't think he did. I, I was a couple no. steps in the alley, and he turned, and I saw the gun. That's all. If this thing should turn into some kind of a black-white thing... No. ...as unit commander, he could count on you, right? If you don't mind me asking, Mr. Watkins, why are you doing this? Do you know who Reverend Reed is? <laughs> well, the voters in my district do. When I say this is fucked up. Oh, I'll give you a quarter of a million dollars to have him tell me my paperwork is insufficient enough to certify me as a developer in the empowerment zone. <laughs> yeah. Now. Man, you talk well, about 30,000 coming back, man. I'm talking about the quarter of a mil that you took. Now you need to call Mr. Goose, Mr. Fawcett, whoever the fuck you gotta call because I'll get you money to run. Remember that? Yeah, sometimes with the bureaucracy, the one hand don't know what the sometimes other is. Sometimes you get shafted. Yeah, well, you know what I see? I see one hand in my pocket while the other hand seems to have grabbed your dick. So you hump in a wagon, huh? Fuck yes. How's that working out for you? Jimmy, I love this fucking gig. All those years knocking my head against the wall on homicide, and for what? The same fucking pension with twice the heartburn. Head and torso. You got two casings over here. Hold the call. So much for the no violence in Hampton, damn dairy, huh? Uh. Help me move the body. I know what he's thinking. Yeah. Just up the block, just out of the free zone. Ah, uh, oh, You lost your fucking mind? Before no, the ambulance gets to pronounce them, we can do it. Fuck those stripes. Fuck them. I'll be first officer at the scene. It's my responsibility. Not yours. Don't do it. Don't forget the cases. Otherwise, it's just gonna complicate matters even more, isn't it? But... Hey, you say you work with this guy? Three shots, no warnings. You scared of black people or something? Yeah, the number for the reporters, the newsroom. Uh, yeah. Family. I know it. And I'm telling you that someone may have done this to us, Avon. That cop don't know me for shit. What the hell am I to him? He know you're going to want to think this thing that D, you know, he wouldn't do what he did. I do think it. 
Someone on the inside? That cop said it was someone who didn't want you to know. And so they made it look like it did. I need to know this more than anything. He came to the edge, but he turned around Supposed and to be walked away. Family, remember? And I know he was willing to do what he had to for his family. If something happened. The fuck are you even thinking? That I had something to do with it? I could do that to my own kin? See, if you just take the family aspect out of this just for one moment and you just look at this clinically from her point of view and from Avon's point of view and the discussion that's going on. If you're not necessarily accusing him, I know she isn't, even though the more someone tries to profess their innocence and starts to lose their temper and starts to get aggravated, the more likely is they're hiding something. But the, the, the lines are blurred with all this family crap that they come out with because it's only important when they want it to be important. I ain't do nothing to D. I ain't had shit to do with it. I thought there wasn't anything to have anything to do with. You blow it. So what's the deal? The uh. deal is we turn this into a dunker by tomorrow morning or he starts typing a report for ISD and the deputy ops. You didn't move that body, Sergeant. I moved the body. If the city could get a couple hundred thousand, we could afford an overtime detail to protect these folks. I mean, I've been a councilman for three years now. That's a long fucking time to be ignored. <laughs> so what I'm saying is this. Come tomorrow. If I don't have a shooter in bracelets, yeah. this whole Amsterdam affair Goes is away. over. You hear me? Because you all yeah, don't know a good thing when you got it. You had cash on the barrel, and you ain't never need no bail money. And hell, I had clean corners everywhere I look. But the man Colvin said he wanted the boy locked up, or the free zone shuts down tomorrow. All she wrote for Amsterdam. Colvin? From the western. What do you use a whistle for? Some nigga in one of Ghost Cane Crews laughed at his shoes. What do you need? Here we go. Turn yourself in. Turn myself in. For what? Strata boy. Because that's how he's feeling right now. All alone. Poor Perez. That was actually one of the better episodes of this season so far. Especially because I you know I didn't know what was coming. Um I don't know what he's gonna do. I hope I mean Daniel's even said, you know, do you really think maybe we might need to have a suicide watch on Perez here? <sighs> Although I don't think he's doing himself any favours if he starts even thinking or contemplating about having to cover the racist side of things. Because that's already how it's been seen and looked at out on the street just in the papers. We saw it already. And it sounds like the the guy he shot and killed was pretty close to being promoted, commendations, the lot. But, I mean, it all happened so fast, as it does. And I like that the show did, did that the way they did it. For us as the viewer, it happened so fast. And I had to think back myself. I'll check it again in edit. Um... He didn't ID himself, you didn't ID yourself, you don't just start firing your weapon. So, I don't know what's going to happen to him. I know Valchek will probably try and cover things, but he, he, the man just annoys me because he's, everything that comes out of his mouth is always one-sided and, and always seems to be a stab at whoever it is he's speaking to. And he always talks down to everybody. Uh, now, as regards this other murder and this boy handing himself in now to keep Hampstead and going i get what what's it was trying to do there moving the body but you made a piss poor job to say you're cops and you know you're used to investigating all of this stuff you know how it works you know far more than us normal civilians do as to if you were going to try to stage a crime scene being somewhere else than it actually took part you know what to do but it, it was all done in such a rush because he was literally trying to 
he was just trying to cover uh, the major, but he's saying he's going to take the, uh, the 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 actual flak for it. So this boy, this boy's handing himself in. Who is these people who just hand themselves in, even though it's just come down as an order kind of thing from Stringer? Now then, the important thing for me was Dee's mum there in that room with the two of them. I was explaining in commentary as it was going at the time that you can always start to kind of tell when somebody's hiding something. Even if they're not the one involved or they're not directly involved when they start to backtrack and they start to get annoyed and they start to try to, to misdirect you, they're hiding something, but then he just drops the bomb. I didn't have anything to do with it. What's there anything to do with if if there is nothing you're saying nothing ever happened and not and it was just what it was it was a suicide so what is it you didn't have anything to do with and she's just walked out of the room what comes from that i don't know the rest of their little consortium including um proposition joe and everything are trying to trying their best to on, you know, they know it's bad for business and Avon is just old school. He will not have it any other way. He never backs down from anything. It's going to be his undoing at some point. I don't know how long it's going to take. I don't know how integral and how um, drawn out it's going to get, whether it's this season, next season, the season after. I have no idea. Right, I will be back with episode uh, 10 next week. Until then, guys, thank you very much for watching. By all means, post your comments down below. Don't forget to hit the subscribe if you haven't already. All the episodes are available for you on YouTube playlists. If for some reason any of them are blocked, uh, you can always check the link for Odyssey as well. That's also a mirror uh, site of YouTube of mine. Um, they tend to not get blocked quite as quickly over there. But if you do want the follow on cut versions, just check the link in the description as always. See you for episode 10 next week. Take care. Don't.